across to you finally. You are, among other things, the spokesperson for the party uh, on Scotland. Nicola Sturgeon got herself, I mean, Nicola's in a very, very big twist uh, yesterday, answering questions about why she had now put a ban on trans male prisoners uh, going in, trans, trans, sorry, trans women prisoners, biological yeah. men, obviously men, uh, going in, into women's prisons. Uh, she's always argued that trans women are women uh, and therefore they should be in women's prisons. Uh, there's no reason why they shouldn't be. As now admitting, of course, that trans women are women, except when they're not regarded as women. Um, do you think that there's any circumstance when a man should be put, whatever he calls himself, whatever he chooses to wear or identify, it should ever be placed in a cell with a woman prisoner? Well, what we, we have in Scotland is a, a problem with the, the risk assessment, which is now being reviewed. And I think it's right that that is reviewed because... Um, it's not what I asked you. Prisoners, all prisoners who um, there is a question mark over, you know, they're sexually violent, they're in prison for sexual assault, are treated differently. And we have to have a risk assessment for each one and treat each case on its own merits. We so so for you, it's perfectly... So, so a man who is behind bars for fraud, who then says, actually, my name's Cynthia, I think I've been born in the wrong body, I'm a woman. You've got no issue with that man, after a risk assessment, being put in a prison cell with a woman. I have, I have. It's a yes or a no. It's not a yes or a no. Why isn't it a yes or a no? I have a problem with it. To me, the answer is yes. I have a problem with it. It shouldn't happen. Why is that not? I mean, it's it's a clear cut thing, isn't it? Because you're not putting forward a situation that would actually happen. Because anyone, anyone under the new GRR rules has to go through the same processes to change their identity. It's only about the paperwork. And I think we are not looking at with the real issue in society is no, no, with all due respect christine you're sidestepping it's so very very simple you're saying there should be a risk assessment of course someone who's convicted who's convicted of violence or sexual violence against women shouldn't be in a cell with no, women they whatever they whatever however they identify so you're saying that so at that point they're not women they're trans women who are men who are therefore a danger to women okay but you're saying they you're perfectly you can see a circumstance when a trans woman i.e a man who has not got that history risk assessor is not a particular high risk to women could be put in a prison cell. I think it's really, really clear. No man should be put in a prison cell, put in a women's prison, full stop, end off, nothing to discuss. For you, there's a nuance there. I don't understand what that nuance is. I didn't say there's a nuance. I did not say there's a nuance. I said, what I said was, if you have a woman, you have her in a women's prison, if you have a man, you, I, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Women are in women's prisons, men are in men's prisons. What we have in Scotland, the issue is about the risk assessment of all sexually violent and violent prisoners. And that is what Nicola Sturgeon has um, looked at and called for a review. And I think that's a good thing that she's reviewing the risk assessment because I know that there are genuine concerns that people have and these concerns need to be addressed. The risk assessment, and, the, the, and, sorry, the risk to women is being put in a prison cell with a man. Well, that is why they're doing the risk. Uh, well, you don't need to do a risk it. assessment. Yeah, yeah, look look down his pants. Oh, look, he's a man. He doesn't go in a prison cell with a woman. It's not complicated. Julia, you missed the fact that I actually said that Nicola Sturgeon was doing a good thing. I thought you would think that was the strangest thing you'd ever heard. But Nicola ha has called for a review of the risk assessment. Now, what you're talking about is the risk, is the risk of putting a sexually violent trans woman in with no, other the women. The risk of now, putting a man. The risk assessment, and that is what they are looking at. Okay. And you cannot get away from the fact that they are trying to address concerns genuine concerns and I by the way those, those concerns, concerns raised by people them. like me and many others jk rowling and others were dismissed as bigotry by nicola sturgeon only a few days ago we'll have to leave it there i'm way over time christine jardine always good to talk to you lib dem mp there